Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to create this heart tunnel in Adobe After Effects. No plugins are required to create this. Uh, this heart tunnel has been like a TikTok trend, so I thought I would create a video on how to actually create this. So a couple of housekeeping things before we get started. I am using Adobe After Effects 2018, which is the 2021 version. Uh, for some reason it doesn't work on 2022, the echo effect. So if you don't have that, all you have to do is come here to the uh, Adobe Cloud and click over here on the right-hand side and you can actually download older versions. So all I did was download the um, After Effects 18 version and that's what we're using here to create this video. The second thing you're going to need is a vector file. So I have this black heart um, that I got from Adobe Stock, or you can watch a tutorial on how to create a heart in Adobe Illustrator. So you will need an Illustrator file of a heart. If you don't have that, you can just use one of these um, shapes. You could use like the rectangle tool, rectangle shape um, to create the looping effect. So let's just jump right into the tutorial. So I'm gonna go ahead and create a new project. So I'm going to go to File, New, New Project. We're going to go to New Composition, and I'm going to rename this Heart Tunnel. We're going to set this at 1920 by 1080, 29.9 frames per second. And I'm just going to set this at a 30 second duration. The first thing we're going to do is create a background layer. So we're going to, we're going to go to Layer, New, Solid. I'm going to rename this BG. Same settings, 1920 by 1080, black background. So the first thing we're going to do is add like a star field background, background to this. So we're going to go to Effect. With our background layer selected, go to Effect, Generate, Four Color Gradient. And then over here under effects and presets on the right hand side, we're going to type in star burst and we're going to drag that into our background layer. If you don't see your effects and presets on the right hand side, you can go to window and make sure effects and presets is selected. You can also go to effect simulation and you can select star burst here as well. So we're going to bring these under the starburst effect. We're going to bring the scatter up to about 230. I'm going to bring the speed down to 0.75. And then the size I'm going to bring down to 75. And then under effects and presets, I'm going to add a glow effect. So I'm just going to type in glow. And under stylize, I'm going to drag this glow effect into the background layer. So that's it for the background. Now we're going to create our heart loop. So with my Adobe Illustrator file, I'm just going to drag that into the composition. Now, as you can see, nothing shows up. That's because the we need to create a shape layer with this. So we're going to right click the Illustrator file. And we're going to go to create and then create shapes from vector layer. And as you can see, that created a shape layer in Adobe After Effects. So now that we created the shape layer, I no longer need my Illustrator file, so I'm just going to delete that. Now with the shape layer selected, I am going to change the fill color to a white. And now with my selection tool, I'm just going to resize this. I'm going to bring this, scale this way down. Okay. 
And now what we're going to do is uh, change this to a 3D layer. So we're going to select the 3D box to make this layer a 3D layer. If you don't see the 3D icon right here, just come down here to your toggle switches and modes and switch it over so that you can select the 3D box. The next thing we're going to do is animate this. So I'm going to hit P or you can also just use the drop down and go to transform and position. Make sure that your time indicator, time rulers at the beginning of the time graph, you're gonna select this stopwatch under position. And then we're going to drag this forward to about five seconds. And right here, I'm just going to, I'm going to make it exactly five seconds. So I'm just going to change it. And now for Z space, we're going to drag this until it is out of the composition. So it's about a ne negative 2,440. Now what we're going to do is loop this. So we're going to hit the Alt key and hit the stopwatch. And we're going to type in an expression. We're going to type in loop out parentheses. And now this is going to loop this. Now what we're going to do is add our echo effect. So with the shape layer selected, we're going to go to effect, time, echo. We're going to change echo time to one second and number of echoes. We're going to change to five if you want more. You could amp it up to 10. And as you can see, that's going to create your loop tunnel. Now, if you want to add more frequency, you can lower the echo time. So if I set this at 0.5, you can see there's more hearts in the tunnel. So that looks pretty good. So now what we're going to do is add our glow effect. So with the shape layer selected, we're going to go to effect, generate, for color gradient. The next thing we're going to do is add a glow effect. So we're going to come over here to effects and presets and type in glow and drag that into our shape layer. And I'm going to bring up the glow radius to 50 and the glow intensity to 10. And then we're just going to add one more glow effect to the shape layer. And I'm just going to bring up the glow intensity for that to 10. All right, let's go ahead and preview this. So that's looking pretty good. You can play around with the glow settings and the colors to get the effect that you want. But that's it. That's how you create a looping heart tunnel in Adobe After Effects. The last thing we're going to do is export our footage. So we're just going to go to File, Export, Add to Render Queue. The Output Module, I'm going to click on that. And I'm just going to have it Format AVI. Um, all the settings the same here, IGB, millions of colors. And click OK. And then Output to Heart. Tunnel, I'm going to save it as Heart Tunnel. You can save it to your computer. And then just go ahead and click Render, and that's going to render your footage. And that's it for this tutorial. Thank you so much for watching. Please hit that like button. It really helps the video out. It helps the channel out. And I hope this video was helpful. Please subscribe for more.